Good evening and welcome to Our Home, Our Life. I hope you had a blessed Sunday. Tonight is day one of our um, devotional series, Near to the Broken Hearted, How to Heal from Heartbreak God's Way. The other ones will be posted um, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. and next Saturday on the day 7 will be at 7 a.m. Today's devotional starts with devotional titled, Allow God to redirect you. Genesis 37 verses 23 through 24. So when Joseph arrived, his brothers ripped off the beautiful robe he was wearing. Then they grabbed him and threw him into the cistern or pit. Imagine what it would be like to share your heart with someone you care about. And then one day as you go out to spend time with them, they do the unthinkable. They hurt you. In a sudden moment, this betrayal made you go from feeling safe, loved, and known to feeling vulnerable, unwanted, and alone. This is exactly what happened to Joseph. The hard truth is, the Bible doesn't say that Joseph did anything wrong. He was thrown into a pit because his brothers were angry and jealous. But his story didn't end there. But the Lord was with Joseph and extended kindness to him. Genesis thirty nine twenty one. God never abandoned Joseph, and we eventually see that God redeemed his painful past and brought something good out of it. In the same way, when we experience heartbreak and rejection, it often isn't deserved. And sometimes, like Joseph, we might even see it coming. Then, suddenly, we're at the lowest point of our lives, feeling hurt, vulnerable, and alone. However, like Joseph, our stories are not over. God later provided Joseph with the opportunity to lead people who enslaved him, and he saved thousands of people's lives, or he saved thousands of people's lives in the process, including his brothers. Every painful experience from his past prepared him for his this purpose because God was always with him. The good news is the same God who saved and stayed with Joseph is with us as well. Sometimes God's redirection causes us pain. This doesn't mean that he wants us to experience hurt and rejection, but those things can be side effects of living in a world that is trying to pull us from God, not closer to him. But just like Joseph, rejection can lead to God's redirection. When we allow our loving Father to redirect us, we may be able to look back one day and see all of the goodness God brought from the rejection we've experienced. Today you may be feeling rejected or heartbroken, but when you choose to seek your Heavenly Father, He can use this season as an opportunity to draw you closer to His plan and His purpose. Amen. In your prayer time, thank God for being with you during the season. Ask Him to bring goodness from the rejection and heartbreak you have experienced. One of the scriptures from this is Genesis 39, 21 through 23, and it says, But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy, and he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners who were in the prison. Whatever they did there, it was his doing. The keeper of the prison did not look into anything that was under Joseph's authority because the Lord was with him. And whatever he did, the Lord made it prosper. What a great first day for a devotional. Remember, the same God who stayed with Joseph is with us as well. And rejection can lead to God's redirection. How awesome is that? Y'all make sure you subscribe and hit that notification to get all um, the notifications. Tomorrow will be day two. And as always, God bless.